ICTL conference attendee. This little video um, walks people through some of the ways they can use the individual discussion area in Brightspace to create a journaling area um, for students. So we recently switched from Blackboard Learn, which had different tools like journals, blogs, and wikis for students to turn in their assignments. Um, and they could be used in different ways for different purposes to meet um, their outcomes. And Brightspace doesn't have these options. Um, trying to not cover up this cat. But you can improvise. I did find a tool that I think is a good substitute. So one alternative to the journaling area is um, using the private discussion area as a journal. So journals are helpful um, to meet outcomes in writing. Um, they can help you to scaffold um, and build up to larger writing assignments, and they can be a great place for brainstorming ideas. So in Brightspace, the private discussion area works like the regular discussion area. The only difference really is that only you and the student can see what they post. So, to be honest with you, the first week the students were a little bit confused because they were like, it's a discussion area, but I can't, I can't see what anyone else writes. And then I have to lay it out and be like, well, this is your private journal area. Um, so being consistent every week and labeling the private journals as journals is helpful. Um, so every title of a private journal, I'll say private journal, that way students aren't confused between the private and public discussions. And then another way that I was consistent to show students the difference between the public and private journals is having a different purpose. So like the prompts for a discussion would have to do with um, maybe students sharing their ideas and getting feedback from the whole group, um, or maybe, you know, analyzing or bouncing ideas off of each other. And then the purpose for the private journals, um, like my purpose in assigning it for students would usually be when I wanted them to reflect and I would use it as an area to give students feedback. Um, so a private journal can be used as an individual space to brainstorm ideas that students may not be comfortable sharing with the whole class. Um, it can also be used, that's my daughter, uh, <coughs> it can also be used um, as an area where they can, like you can give them feedback, they can share their ideas that are maybe like new little fledgling ideas that they're just working on that they may not be ready to share with everyone, but maybe you can give them feedback to help them grow an idea or give them ideas on how they can maybe research in new and different ways. So I also kind of use the private journal area as this kind of like bounce it's like a sounding board between the teacher and the student um so that's enough about why right like why i use it now i'm going to show you how i actually do it so in one of my classes um here's an example of a private journal so it says right here that it's a discussion topic but to um, differentiate between public discussions and private discussions, I put private journal in there. Um, and then, so another way that I organize this, because you have, so you can organize however you want, but like I'll have one forum 
for each week's work and then I'll attach the journals into each of those forums. So if you go to course admin, and this is just really for me to like keep it all separated and even separate them as a grade. Um, so like, let me move my head. The discuss if you go to course admin and you go to the discussion area, you can see And my computer's slow when I screencast. What I'm going to show you is my forums. So like week one discussions, this is one forum, but then I have them titled differently. So this is the discussion and this is the journal. So each, I was consistent with how I assigned them. And the reason why I did this is because in Blackboard, I had a lot of journaling areas for students to develop their ideas, but I couldn't find a sufficient substitute in Brightspace, and then I thought, well, I'll just try it out. Um, and then the same thing here. This is a group discussion between all the students where they are creating like an outline of their work, and then here they're reflecting. And so I even call it different things in both of the areas, but essentially they're both discussion areas. The only difference is in this one, only the student can um, see it. No one else can see it, only you and the student. So it's a private private area where they can just feel comfortable expressing their ideas. Um, I even divided up dating area as different things, um, just to keep it straight. So like grades, And then if you go to manage grades. All right, so if you go to manage grades, um, you can see that you can divide up your assignments by their types. And so I have regular discussions and then I have journals just so that the students can see that they are separate grades. So I wanted to show you that just you can you can separate out these grades on the syllabus and then it can be reflected in the grades area and i think that that just helps to keep the course organized so that's a little bit about how i organize it in the grade book and then um how do you create it right how do you create these groups so next what i'm going to do is show you how to do this so the first thing you'll want to do is create your group so I'm going to just create a, um, a little practice group. And this is in an old class, so I don't think that... I don't think I'm going to break anything. Um, okay. So what I did was I created a private journal category. And so this is the only category that I have in the class. Um, but you can go to... So to create, so first thing you want to do is go to groups and create your private journal category. So this is how you do it. Click on cat new category. And then and then you wait for your slow computer. Um, I'm going to just call it private journaling. Um, and then you can describe what it is. So my description will be like this is a place where students this is a where students can reflect and develop their ideas how about individually okay and then you go to enrollment type so this is what you would use if you were breaking the students up into groups and they were maybe turning in something um, like group work. But if you want to make a single member group like this, you'll go here, single user member, uh, member specific groups. And then, oh, are you, okay, I'm not going to click on that. That was all the students in the class. Um, 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 um. 
And I'm not going to create workspaces right now. I am just going to, and I don't see why I, I, I don't have to. I'm going to make that visible. Okay. Not, I, only because I want to see what happens when I click that button. Sorry, I don't know all the things about Brightspace. So I'm going to click Save. And then... Okay, private journaling area. Okay, so here's an, okay. So, now I have the single person groups. That's all I did. I did all those steps to create a single person group. Now I need to actually create um, a discussion. Dun, 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 dun. And so then to do that, there's a bunch of ways you can do it. One way is to go to discussions. and create a new one. I'm just going to create a new topic and add it to an existing forum. Okay, so I'll just choose the last one. Okay, and this is where you will um, Make the choice between open discussion where everyone can access or group or section topic. This button, I think, this, this button to click, I think doesn't show up unless you have an actual group or section topic. And then you can choose the section. So I will choose private journaling. So that just means that when I create this discussion, it will be delivered to students individually and then I would title it. Okay, so this is to create a discussion topic, so it could be like week seven discussion. Um, oh no, wait, sorry, week seven private journal. I just went against my own device advice. Okay, so description, and then you would insert um, journal prompt here, and then okay. And then save and close. Here you can, I mean this is also the place where you would assign points um, under the assessment area, but I mean you don't have to do that. I don't have to do that right now. Um, and then you would obviously want to create a new grade item for it, but I'm not showing you how to connect it. I'm only showing you how to do the groups. So for now I'm just going to save and close. And then I should be good to go. So those are just some ideas and reasons why I chose to create a private journaling area um, in using the individual groups in the discussion um, application of Brightspace. So that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching this video. I hope this is helpful. For you and I hope that you have a good start to the spring 2021 semester. Thanks!